Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Invisible Ink. We just wrapped up a Sankaku vault, which is, explains the big pile of money we have. Uh, pretty much gonna put that all into speed. Uh, I could consider... Yeah, by the way, Monster, I have something for you. Uh, I could consider uh, upgrading maybe some more Anarchy, or some Strength, or whatever. Uh, getting more money out of guards is nice. Uh, but I think it's more important to be able to just do missions reliably, and that's what speed is about. Uh, right? That's gotta be my priority? Yeah, because like, Anarchy gives you how much more? 15 steel, 50, yeah, 15 percent more. So, I don't know, like 15% of like 80, which is what we're getting at the moment, is like not that much. Uh, so it costs an awful lot. It would take an awful lot of thefts to add up to even 500 bucks, right? Uh, and when you consider that then we would have to put it on both agents if we wanted to get it reliably, or else like try pretty hard to steal with just one of them, which I'm not really going to do. Uh, it just doesn't seem like a very good deal. So we will just give both of our agents speed 3, um, and uh, eh, I don't know about a speed 4 just yet. Oh, shut up. So I think we're going to go get another agent, is why I'm thinking we might save the money. Uh, having 1200 bucks plus a whole mission's worth of stuff. No, we should be able to get the agent, um, like, a few, one point in Anarchy and a couple points in speed. So let's just go ahead and give Prism one more speed. Actually, let's give it to Banks, because uh, she gets a little bit more direction about where to go, uh, because she's the one carrying the, uh, the lockpick, basically, right? The locked doors are where we need to send banks, and we need to send everyone, and we need to send Prism, like, wherever else. So, I don't know. Seems like not a very strong justification, but, like, better than nothing for deciding which one of them to give it to. Uh, she also often has to walk around Guard's line of sight, where Prism can just, like, walk through it. So, I don't know. Uh... I guess we'll put Prism down here. Oh, found the locked door. I guess we'll send Banks that way. Uh, I mean, it might be a locked door that goes nowhere interesting. But, uh, again, it might not. Okay. So there could be a guard coming through here, and if there is... It's just barely possible that he's going to walk by banks. And if he does, it's just barely possible that he'll be walking straight to Banks' spot, and therefore we should ambush. Uh, I think it's extremely unlikely that he's gonna, that any guard is gonna notice Banks. Uh, and there's some danger that a guard who wouldn't notice her uh, would walk by her and thereby, mm, by ambushing him, I make things worse for myself. But um, the important thing to consider is that the downside of ambushing uh, and hitting a guard I shouldn't have is that, like, I make things a little less convenient. The downside of not ambushing is that, like, Banks gets KO'd. There's nothing I can really do about it at that point. Uh, Prism doesn't have a weapon. She could borrow Banks's weapon, but there's no convenient way to do that and also knock out the guard. So I'm just taking out a slight insurance policy by having Banks ambush. Okay, yeah. So nobody coming. Okay. A lot of stuff in this room. 
You know what? I probably should not uh, wait for that parasite to go off. I should just march into this room. It was free to apply it, but uh, I shouldn't shouldn't wait for it to go off. And we, you know, it didn't cost us anything, right? Um, so important news is that uh, this leads into just this same area that Prism is in, but on the other side of the door. Um, and certainly that is, on the other side of, I should say, the laser grid. Certainly that is potentially useful, um, but not really urgent. We can go through this way instead. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with this door. It's faster to go here. And where are we? Plastech. That's important to know. But look at all the all these actions we get to take. It's amazing. Uh, should I stay in disguise? I guess so. Who knows what's around the corner, right? Yep. Uh, I mean, he didn't actually see me. None of these guards would have seen me, even if I had not been disguised. But there's a lot going on right now. Uh, certainly not sad to be wearing a disguise at the moment. What is this guy going to do? Go out that way. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say the prisoner area is down here, but I don't have any good reason at all for that, so I could certainly be wrong. There's like a shop or something here, I guess. Yeah. Uh... So there's a funny trick that I have learned uh, when playing as Archive Prism, which is that guards, uh, whenever a door opens or closes anywhere on the level, the guards all recalculate their path. I'm not really sure why this is, but it seems to happen. Uh, and when they're calculating their path, they treat a disguised prism like a wall. Uh, so you can sort of manipulate them uh, into not going through you if you uh, if you are careful. Uh, so that's something I would like to think about here. Also, where is this guy going to go? Down there. Um, interesting that he's not finished his patrol. I guess these two sort of fight over some sort of area, maybe? Um, but so, what I am thinking of doing, also if there's a camera there, I'll be a bit cross, um, is after I'm done moving with uh, Banks, try closing this door and then stepping here and ending the turn, uh, which I believe will cause this guy to say, oh, this door, last time it was touched, uh, had a, had a guard standing in front of it, so I can't go into this room, so I'll just skip my turn and wait here. Um, if I were 100% confident that that's what would happen, uh, I would come up here instead uh, of here. Uh, but I'm not, so I'm going to duck to the side just in case. Mm, it's probably not urgent to get this. I'd rather uh, explore a bit more see what's going on up here. Looks like nothing much. Well, no, I take it back. Maybe this is the prisoner area. Who knows? Okay, so now we're done. And you see? He updated his path. Like, oh, can't go that way. There's a guard. So as long as we're careful not to open the door again this turn, uh, we sort of get a free pass from this guy. None of this stuff is urgent to get just yet, so I'll I'll uh, 
keep my power consumption low. Yeah, but see, he actually changed his mind. I don't know why. I don't, I don't understand the AI for these guys, really. It's kind of annoying that we can't get past him, but uh, we can just grab the shop on the way back, I guess. Check out what's going on up here first. You've located a sterile compile room. Really? There some powerful software being designed here. Where's the technician? Look for a lab technician. They'll likely be the target. Wow, again, Banks found all the safes all at once. Weird coincidence that this has happened uh, two missions in a row. Uh, but it certainly gives us a clear idea of what to do with Banks. I'm very surprised to have found this now, because I feel like I should have seen the technician already. He must be, like, somewhere where he's having trouble pathing to here, maybe? I don't know. I guess it's only been three turns. Maybe he started in, like, the back of the detention center? Uh, or hasn't been able to path through because there have been guards in the way or something? I don't know. Uh, do I want to hit up this shop just yet? No, I can do it later. Uh, so, come back here? Here, I guess, actually is better. Uh, in preparation for getting back out of the level. Not out of the level, out into the main area. Uh, and what is our plan of attack to get through this stuff all reasonably quickly? Maybe zero, one, two, one, two. That's six power, two turns. How much power is this? Four? We should be okay to spend that much power then. Uh, yeah, I can't sprint, but it's fine. There's no real need to, of course. And uh, we don't need to be disguised this turn. Very curious about this technician. Uh, we can grab this guy's money and then hide like here. Probably ish. Oh, we already we already uh, stole from him. Okay. Uh, yeah, this guy is coming back this way. Yes, that is his path. So we can comfortably wait. In fact, right here. Uh, loot these safes. Uh, do we actually need to hit this one on the same turn that we hit these? I think not. We can afford to wait one more turn on that because it'll just take her a while to get there, really. Uh, anything else to hack while we're doing that? Not really. I feel like there was a, a level that I played on the last playthrough where there was this, like, uh, compile room without actually being a technician anywhere. Uh, is that Nika? Yeah. Not my favorite, and particularly weak without her uh, item. Um... She, I mean, she can be, like, pretty okay. Um, 
but uh, you need a pretty violent style of play. I've seen people use. I, I saw a thing on Reddit where, like, you know, using using Mika as an engine to generate unlimited moves and power for a turn by just zapping the same guard a million times on one turn using uh, whatever it is that lets you do that. I forget if it's her augment or um, or like if you need to use a stim 4 or something like that, but um, I don't even really remember what her, agent let, her augment lets you do, honestly, but somehow or other you get a bunch of power uh, and moves. Probably using Predict Brawling for the moves. Okay, we are in here. Uh, I can Parasite this, or I can Buster Chip it. it doesn't seem to make a huge difference, really. Uh, might as well, I suppose, Buster Chip, since... Confirm that this guy is stationary? Of course he is. Might as well Buster Chip, since we're not going to have many chances to use it other than now. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm not thrilled to take Nika, but any agent is better than no agent. I guess the exit is down here, and the technician just, like, does not exist. Uh, I want this power supply, but I don't need it this turn. Uh, okay, so we'll grab this. And uh, how exactly do we distract this guard to let Nika through? How far can she get? Not super far, huh? I think the thing to do is to get him up here. And then get out of the way. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Um, I forgot, the important point is to get Nika through before you do that. So what is her augment? You get one extra attack, uh, and you get one, you get extra, you, she sort of comes with predictive brawling built in and an extra attack. Um, So, sure, fine. You do need a stim for it to do like the super ridiculous um, infinite attack thing on like a volt disruptor with whatever, whatever augment. Maybe I'm confused and I was thinking of like Olivia using Nika's volt disruptor or something. I don't know. At any rate, it's a combo you can do if you're excited about that sort of thing. Uh, how do we, like, get out of here, though? I was kind of hoping to get in, out this turn. Um, but it looks like I can't really do that. Um, I maybe could have done something silly, like move, uh, Prism here. Uh, and then, like, disguised move here. But I, I don't think I need to be, like, so ridiculous. We'll just, we'll just take our time getting out. Right? But we don't have any weapons. We can't, we can't fight him. Uh, we haven't, we haven't KO'd anyone. Remind me, are there any guards in here? No, right? No one in here. There were some guards down here, but no one entering this room. I guess let's peek to be sure, though. Fine. Uh, now is the time to take this power supply. 
And I feel like we're just never going to see the technician in charge of that lab. Did I forget to steal from this guy? I guess I did. Uh, so I'm glad he's coming up here, I guess. Looking around. Hmm. Nothing. What is Nico's starting stat? Strength or speed or something? Nothing. Huh. Okay. So we can pull him up to here, or we can let him go back to his post. But if we let him go back to his post, there's not really, um... He's, he's going to go back to watching this door. Uh, so what I think we should do, actually, is uh, do a little sprint tap here, where we... Um, get his attention to that square, and then sneak uh, back out. It's going to be a bit tricky, I think, to get Nika out of here without uh, any weapons. Just because these two guards, uh, in combination with this guy, like, this guy is watching the door and these guys are moving near the door, it's like pretty awkward. So I think we may need to use Nika to like get this guy's attention again somehow next turn. Keep him from going back to his post. Maybe we can get Banks all the way over, who knows. Uh, there are... There, there's there's one more safe... No, there, there's all five, right? Yeah. Um, whoa! There's a camera there! Dastardly! Huh. Well? That's fine, I guess. I'll just uh, get out of the way. Sure. And uh, in fact, let's come back this way so that uh, we can come around here next, uh, next turn. Don't know why I bothered to parasite that. I'm gonna never be there again, but okay, sure. Yeah, Nika's having a tough day. Um, but we'll have to see what we can do, I guess. Guess it was nothing. Oh, geez, another guard. Must be jumpy tonight. So what can we do with Nika here? This guy's going to go back to his post and start staring at the dang door again. Um, I wonder... If we could, like, sprint to here, and then sneak back to here. That should get both of them up in this area. Yeah, I think that works that out okay. Something. I hope. <laughs> Not totally sure. Um, They'll both be fighting over this square, I think, and so I'm not sure which one of them actually gets there. He claims he's just going there, which is obviously a lie. 
Um, at any rate, I don't think Prism can help out very much. Nika's sort of on her own, so Prism might as well go shopping. Uh, which one is... This is the guy who goes into this room, right? The one who goes into this room uh, is investigating the camera scan from earlier. Uh, so we can just ignore him. Hey, what was that? And uh, we'll just breeze past this guy. And see if we can figure out what's going on down here. Mm. Should be fine here. But ambush just in case. Which card is the one going there? I guess it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, but he's going the other way. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, Nika's, uh, Nika certainly might get thrown right back into jail. <laughs> oh, the, the power thingy, uh, the, the, the firewalls are about to go up, so we're not going to get this camera yet. That's a bit of a pain. Um, nothing we can do about it, though. That's not really the bottleneck anyway, it's, the, it's these guys. Looking around. But uh, there, we found a solution to the problem. Investigating. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, we're having a look. <laughs> I guess we just imagined it. <laughs> these guards are so funny. Uh, I've heard it a million times and it still makes me smile. Just good voice acting there, I think. Um, okay, so now Nika can get out of the room. She can even sprint if we want. Is that productive? I think no. We want this guy to continue going up here. We don't want him to detour and go over here. And it's not like Nika can do anything useful uh, yet. So we'll just put her here. Uh, Prism could sprint. What are these guys up to? Okay. Stationary, huh? Okay, so there is a safe space if we want it. We can hide here. No, that's not safe. All right. Uh, guns blazing then. Not thrilled about that. Yeah, she's gonna be in a bit of a mess. Penetration scanner has armor piercing. Cloaking rig is excellent. Biogenic dart, a very strong weapon. Uh, let's sell the charge pack. And now it's mostly a question of, do I want the cloaking rig? Uh, cloaking rig one is not great for getting through areas, but it's a good way to disengage when a guard has seen you. So it is, it is a nice item to have. Uh, I think I'd rather just save the money for uh, upgrades though. You know what? I can be safer than this. Let's just go. We don't have to get into this room right now. We can get in from this side. What? We'll get that guard's attention, but it doesn't really matter. Not so thrilled about that camera. 
but no guards can actually get here fast enough to be a problem for me. I could have come up and hidden here. Maybe I should have. Banks is going to get spotted again. She is not the most stealthy agent at our disposal, I guess. Um, but it's fine. She can just hide over here and no one will ever see her. Um, and then Prism can come and do the real infiltration work. Uh, speaking of, this guy is coming back into the room, so here's not a good place to be undisguised. Alright, well, maybe uh, not the best plan, but we made it work. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks. You're gonna you're gonna come over here, please. Actually, wow, she can. If I had been paying more attention, I would have noticed. She can actually work her way all the way down here. Um, and pick up this these two consoles without getting tagged by the camera again, um, which is quite convenient since Prism is sort of having to do a lot of cloaking, not cloaking, you know, disguising. Uh, this guy, it would be nice to get to steal from him, but right now I obviously can't. Uh, we'll just have her come, come around this way. Looks like that's where the exit is. Yeah, okay. Uh, no need for a disguise at this point. And, uh, Nika can't really get going just yet. Confirm this guy is indeed going up there. Uh, and then I suppose See where these guys are all headed. Banks is going to be stuck in there for a little while. But uh, not in any particular danger. And then she can talk through this door when they leave. What? Oh my god, these guys and their patrol routes are ridiculous. Investigating. Oh, alright. Well, I mean, we can work with this. Damn it, they got away. It's just quite uh, inconvenient and also bullshit. <laughs> but alright. I mean, we investigated the guard, or mm, observed is the word we use as uh, for that. Um, and he wasn't, he didn't show signs of going there. Kind of a pain. Uh, so what do we do with Prism? We can sneak in here anytime we want with a disguise, but it seems like we could just hang out here for a little while. Maybe play little games with them by uh, stepping into areas like this to keep them. Uh, I think that's a good idea, actually. What was that? Let's try to make some, some distance down here so that uh, we can play games with the rest of the guards to keep them off of uh, Nika and Banks' backs. Uh, it's a shame Nika can't get anywhere safe without sprinting, which would of course render it not very safe at all. But uh, we can just wait. All the guards, I think, uh, should be heading down there, right? Yeah. 
and uh, Niku can just come in behind, enter this area next turn, uh, and hang out with Banks a bit. The camera will have been deactivated by that point, so that's fine. Investigating the area. Not as clean as the previous two missions. It must be said. Mainly because of that kind of... Uh, just that last turn where he spotted uh, Prism because of his awkward movement. Uh, before that, I think things were going fine. Okay, so they're all going there, right? No, they're going here. Okay, uh, so... Banks. No, not Banks. I need to know what these guys are doing, and I don't exactly want to spend Prism's moves on it. Mm. I know this guy is moving to here, but these two are wild cards. Uh, and I know this guy is moving to here. I guess Nika can't actually get into this room just yet, and this guy's uh, watching it a little too closely. Um, I could get to here, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, have Banks be the one who checks these guys out. Okay. This is the one we want to steal from? That's convenient. It means that we can do it while he's in this room instead of having to come get him out here. So I think that that means we'll just like walk right past all these guys in here. Uh, and it messed up his path as drawn here, but I think he'll figure it out. Um, let's see. If this guard comes to here because of Nika walking through and investigates, um, he might see this space, I guess. But, but we can put uh, Banks down here. Or even put her on, like, uh, have her ambush in if we wanted. So I think what we'll do is hide out here. What was that? Investigating. Which he definitely won't see, I think. Uh, and also... Where do I put Banks? Here, I guess? Sure. Uh, that gives us a fair bit of control next turn. Uh, sure. Maybe this camera would have been better, but it doesn't really matter. Investigating. We're having a look around here. Looking around. Investigating area. <laughs> Oh, he didn't come in. He did get confused by the door. I'll never understand these guards. Now he's coming in here, huh? What about these guys? He's going nowhere relevant. He's still coming in here, and he's going nowhere relevant. Okay, so we still don't have to do anything silly. Just uh, get everyone into this room and knock out this guard. Or if we can find a way to do it without knocking him out, that would be fine too, but it doesn't really matter. He has no armor and we have a weapon, so we'll just do this. And this. Uh, 
and see if we can finally pick up a useful program, maybe? No. Uh, Abacus is okay, but we're not spending a lot of power at the beginning of the mission, so I'll pass. Abacus 2.0, even. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's fine, but it's not really solving problems that I have. Hunter's not the worst thing you could get, but... Yeah, okay, there's the exit. No cameras. So we are out of here next turn. Yeah, let's hit this camera too, why not? Investigating area. Oh, he left the door open. That's rude. Forgot about that. But uh, it's fine. There's our 70 bucks. And away we go. Uh, I think we may actually need a little bit more than a turn here. Ah, no, we should. Yeah, I guess she can't. Uh, she can't quite make it, huh? All right. Well, we'll go the slow way then. No sprinting in case they hear us and come charging. Nobody has any stims. Nothing that matters. Okay. Investigating. I'm investigating. Now we got nothing. All right, now away we go. Uh, yeah, and picked up our third agent. Uh, it's nice to have done that so early. The agent who recovered is grateful to get out of that cell. I'm grateful to have more boots on the ground. Gives the agent a second attack. Uh, that could be useful for, like, giving her a tag pistol. So, there you go. That's something. We'll find a way to make use of Nika. Uh, but that'll have to wait for a future episode. We are done with this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.